thing with Michael was amazing. You know, even when it was really bad, you know, Michael really worked with Todd to to hold the whole thing together. You know, um, amazing character there. But the thing about Michael is, you know, Vettel's a bloody good driver, but Michael was another level. Lewis is a bloody good driver, but Michael was another level. And everybody knew Michael was another level. Like, you say today, you know, who's the best, Vettel, Alonso, or Hamilton? And it's purely down to your personal taste, probably. In my day, as soon as Senna was dead, there was Michael. You know, and until Alonso kind of came up, where Michael was obviously getting older and Alonso was the young, hungry wolf. Up until that very moment, no one ever questioned that it was ever Michael's fault. Because it was never Michael's fault, because no one drove a car as well as Michael Schumacher drove a car. So, and I think that's what helped that whole Ferrari situation back then, because they never pointed the finger at Michael. Yeah. Rightly so, because it was not his fault. You know. I knew I wasn't as good as Michael. I watched Michael, and I could see Michael couldn't could do things in the car that I couldn't do. You know, whenever we were teammates, I could see he was doing things that I couldn't do. When I watched him from outside the car, I could see he could do stuff that nobody else could do. And then I think in my era, there was probably Mika that was slightly better than the rest of us, and then Michael was better than him. 